Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. I really don't want to make video on MRFA simply because we are getting some updates and there is no proper timeline being followed to close this requirement. However, this is extremely important for Indian Air Force as it involves 114 multi role fighters, usually second largest in terms of numbers after Su-30 MKI to form the backbone of Indian Air Force. Recently, Indian Air Force Chief has given interview to Nitin Gokleji and the link of the video can be found in the description section. If you find time, do watch the video as it highlights about Air Force challenges during Ladakh standoff and futuristic approach towards dealing with upcoming challenges. The key takeaway from the recent interview of Indian Air Force Chief is related to the SMK-1A, the SMK-2, MK and MRFA regarding which we will discuss in today's video. He also talked about the role of C-17 Globemaster but maybe we would make a separate video on that. As per Indian Air Force Chief, the Air Force is open to take deliveries of the SMK-1A from next year. Essentially, we have also reported that the SMK-1A has completed its ground trials and is integrated with required electronics and avionics in order to take on its maiden flight. It can be hitting air pretty soon in a couple of months. Indian Air Force has inked a deal back in Feb 2021 for 83 TS MK 1A that includes 10 trainers as well. TS MK 1A is an upgraded version of final operational clearance configuration MK 1 with 80% of retail components being the same. As per contract, the delivery of this MK 1A is slated to start after three years of contract signing that is from February. 2024 onwards. The Chief of Air Staff also mentioned that Indian Air Force has placed its faith in AMCA. Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark 1 and five squadrons of AMCA Mark 2. ADA will develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing, which will cost close to 900 crore each. As we already know that HL in association with ADA has started the manufacturing activities of AMCA and CDR is expected later this year. As for the latest report from the project director of AMCA, ADA is waiting for CCS approval and the first AMCA rollout will be around 2026 and serial production by 2032. The Tejas Mark II is going to be 4.5th generation flying machine and will achieve 70% indigenization against 62% of Mark 1A and will have more advanced technology. CAS also mentioned that in interim, that is between Tejas MK1A and MK rollout, Indian Air Force will go ahead with Tejas Mark II. Now, many of our viewers had concerns that Indian Air Force Chief has not mentioned about Tejas Mark II ever, which has raised concern if Air Force is willing to go ahead with Tejas Mark II program. I hope this doubt would have cleared after this update. Back in December 2021, Tejas Mark II design was cleared and accepted by Indian Air Force. The manufacturing activities for Mark II has already started and as per HAS chief, the fighter jet will be rolled out by this year end or early 2023. One year after that, this MK2 will be taking to the skies that is by 2024. Recently, it has been reported that flight control software for the program has also been developed and its test and validation will commence soon. It will commence the series production by 2026. Last but not the least, let's talk about our famous MRFA program. MMRC 2.0, rebranded as MRFA, is a 20 billion defense procurement of 114 multi role fighter aircraft. Indian Air Force has planned to induct six squadrons of MRFA in a phased manner. As for the Indian Air Force chief, MRFA is going to be bi global but make in India following the approach of C295. Responses have been received from 8 OEMs and analyzed. It will be very soon progressed. The contenders for MRFA contract are 
Lockheed Martin's F-21, Boeing's Super Hornet F-A-18E, F and F-15EX, Dassault Rafales, Saps Gripen Jazz 39E, F, Russian MiG-35, Su-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon. Among all these, the two strongest contenders are Dassault Rafale and Boeing's F-15EX. Considering the pace with which MRF is progressing and knowing the history of Indian defense procurement process, in my opinion, we will not be seeing any aircraft under this deal before 2030. By this time, India will already be flying Tejas Mark II, MCA and TED BF. Indian Air Force already have too many flavors of fighter jets in its inventory which includes Russian, French and American aircraft. It is a logistic and maintenance nightmare to maintain the aircrafts from different OEMs. In my opinion, Indian Air Force should procure 72 more Rafales as a stop gap arrangement taking the total strength of Rafales to 108. By doing so, Indian Air Force will be introducing no new fighter jet in its inventory. At the same time, the remaining 42 fighters as a part of MRFA should be fulfilled by Tejas Mark II. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.